It's Saturday, the 2nd of September. My name is Juan Brown. You're watching the Blanco Lirio channel, relaxing today after another uneventful crossing of the South Pacific all the way down to Sydney and back in the Boeing 777. And in my in-basket today is a very interesting video showing a textbook handling of an engine failure on takeoff by Delta Airlines over in Prague, Europe. Let's check it out. What makes this video so great is the camera angle here. This comes to us via Prague Airport Live. Here's Delta Airlines Flight 79 going from uh, Prague to JFK, a Boeing 767, November 175, Delta November. They're departing on runway 24 here. They've got over 12,000 feet of runway. And we're going to be watching this action right out here on the right-hand portion of the screen. So Delta Airlines has already been cleared for takeoff. We'll pick up the audio here in a minute. Pair front six, six Charlie, go fly up runway two four and wait. Runway two four and wait. Wait down on the six Charlie, go. Air France has cleared onto the runway. Note the uh, flight controls here. We've got a little bit of a left crosswind here on runway 24, and you'll see that here once he rotates. So Air France has been cleared to uh, onto the runway behind Delta here. Building up speed. Getting towards V1 rotate speed. Aircraft is off the ground. Note the left yaw for the crosswind, maintaining runway center line. And wait for it. Right there. Compressor stall and smoke. Look at that instant yaw of the aircraft. That's the physics that this video shows so well. When you lose that power on that right engine, the aircraft Delta instantly. Delta 79er, contact the radar. Goodbye. Delta 79er, emergency aircraft, uh, engine fail. We'll uh, call you back. We'd like straight out. Okay. Perfect. We'll call you back. <clears throat> so the aircraft instantly yaws to the right from the power of the good engine on the left. And then you can see the pilot working his way back over to the left to maintain that center line to climb straight out. But the wind and the engine failure has caused him to drift slightly to the right, of course, but he's working his way back onto that center line. Okay. Meanwhile, the Aircraft is climbing out to a safe altitude before they begin dealing with the engine failure. A minimum of 400 feet before you begin dealing with the engine failure. Unlike helicopters, these uh, airline engines, you can allow them to burn a little bit because they're located way out there on a pod and it's safe to do so. Let me see if I can bring this in a little tighter here. So Air France got a great view of the whole scenario. The um, 76 Delta has drifted a little bit off to the right of the screen. We vacate via Charlie. We vacate via Charlie. We vacate via Charlie. So Air France has been cleared to uh, tax, taxi clear the runway. Delta 7, I would like to stop at 3,000. Delta 7 on a climb and maintain 3,000 feet. 3,000 Delta 7 on. Climb into 3,000 feet. Stand by. Perfect. Climb into 3,000 feet. We're going straight out. We'll get back with you as to our intentions because right now they're dealing with the engine failure checklist. So they're getting the airplane cleaned up, climbing out straight ahead, autopilot on, and are beginning to deal with the appropriate checklist. So if we switch over now to FlightAware, uh, we can see this happened yesterday, Friday, on the 1st of September. Roll the, departing on runway 24, climbing right up to 3,000 feet. A perfect radar pattern, radar vectors around, autopilot on, and return. Boom. No messing around with holding patterns, dumping fuel, or getting all wrapped around the axle with the checklists. Just get the appropriate checklists done and bring it back around. Let's look at this time. 12.53, departed at 12.32, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, 20 minutes. Plenty of time to get everything done and get the aircraft returned safely back to the airport they departed from, Prague. 
Remember, each of these departures is engineered such that you can have an engine failure at V1 rotate speed and even with a reduced power setting on the remaining good engine, still make it all the way around the pattern and come back and land on that reduced power setting on that remaining good engine. And of course, the pilot always has the discretion of pushing up the remaining bit of power on that re remaining good engine if they need to for performance. But these aircraft are very powerful and are easily able to fly all the way around the pattern fully loaded on one engine. Regarding the use of the autopilot, for those unfamiliar, here in the airlines, the autopilot is almost universally used in these sort of situations. This allows the pilot flying the aircraft to free up a whole bunch of real estate in his headspace to simply monitor the autopilot rather than having to struggle to fly the airplane. Because when it comes time to work together as a team, crew resource management on running these checklists, like a surgeon removing the wrong leg in a surgery, these guys may need to make 100% sure that they are shutting down the correct engine for this procedure. They need both of their heads in the game before they run the checklist, and that is most easily done with the aircraft on autopilot. Now regarding the asymmetric thrust on autopilot, aircraft like the Boeing 777 and 787 have quite a few automatic features to help you with the rudder trim in the event of an engine failure. The old Boeing 7576 system is very easy to just reach back behind you and grab a couple of potatoes of rudder trim to help straighten out the aircraft, because if you don't add a little bit of rudder trim, the autopilot will not engage. If there's too much demand on the flight controls, the autopilot will kick off. So you need to get the aircraft balanced in trim before engaging the autopilot. Regarding the right hand pattern, well, the city center of Prague is located right here. So ATC, air traffic control, is going to want you to turn a right hand pattern regardless of what engine uh, was shut down. And it's not nearly as critical in one of these airliner type aircraft. An engine out in an airliner is much easier to handle and to manage than an engine out is in a propeller driven light twin engine aircraft. The airliner has a lot of excessive performance capability to easily manage turning into the dead engine as opposed to that of a light twin especially on takeoff, which is initially struggling to just remain above VMCA or minimum control airspeed on one engine, it's much easier in the um, airliners. You've got a much greater margin of safety, so it can easily handle a right-hand pattern turning into the dead engine. So hats off to the Delta crew of Delta's Flight 79. Why did they do such a great job of this? Because of their training, their professional training, AQP style training. We've been training for this throughout our entire career. I go back in October for my annual recurrent training and I'm looking forward to jumping in the sim and practicing this exact same scenario. Why did this engine failure in the first place? We don't know. It could have been a bird strike from some of these birds we see flying around in the video. It could be a failure of the engine, a turbine blade failure or a compressor blade failure. For more information on compressor stalls in turbine engines, check out, there it is, check out Agent JZ's wonderful YouTube channel on jet engines, and he does a great job of explaining the physics behind Delta compressor Delta stalls. Delta contact the radar, goodbye. Delta 7 Niner emergency aircraft uh, engine fail. We'll uh, call you back with like straight out. Okay. This is a once in a career sort of event. In 24 years of flying for the airlines, I've only had one engine failure. When it happened to me, I got a $20 gift card from the chief pilot for Starbucks, Delta. I hope you get a little bit better. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support of this channel, especially the folks over on Patreon that make this content possible. See you here. And it looks like right as he just about drifts off to the side of the view here, he gets that engine shut down. Let's see.
right about there. No more black smoke. Good job, Delta.